We uh, we discovered yesterday, Borg, that my partner uh, Helen has got COVID. You know, so what about that then? That actually means, Borg, that we we have now got to stay isolated for five days. Um, and can only go back to normal once we've had, uh, you know, five days isolation and a, and a positive test. No, rather a, a negative test. Um, speaking of which, the, the only reason we've come out is to get these these tests here. And um, as I say, she tested positive yesterday. I'm going to take one today. Assuming that I must be positive also, otherwise that would be very odd. But uh, it's it's thrown out all our plans out the window again. We were gonna gonna go painting today and perhaps go back to that uh, that lovely spot we were at last time. But as it is, we're sitting here in House de Vink in the rain, getting the COVID tests in. So. Um, well, the only thing I thought to do here is to show you a really classic industrial factory. Uh, this town of Halstavik was built up around this paper factory. And uh, it really is something to look at. So I'm just going to walk over and, and, and show you a little bit. Uh, well, Borg, look at that. I was hoping they'd have a, a good load in, and, and indeed they do. Look at the size of that pile of trees there. And what a sight. You've got the trees there. Next to that is a, a mountain of sawdust. And this whole area can be full of trees sometimes, but here's the factory. I'm not quite sure how it works, but the logs go in and the paper comes out, Borg. And uh, it's an old factory. Generally speaking, we, w we want to have a bit less of this, Borg, going on. Ah! Just in time, there's another delivery. They'll be coming in from all over Sweden uh, to make paper, a variety of products. But uh, it, it's way, it, it's gone down in business, Borg, because of you, or, or rather, internet related uh, technology has made the paper obsolete and rightly so in many cases but I, I still like to have the books anyway I just thought I'd show you that in case you can't judge it which I'm sure you can that is way taller that's like a couple of houses high that. there you go you see it to scale with that truck It looks like that truck's going to pause there, and this other this other thing's going to have the the logs off it. Let's hold on for that. So all this is still uh, done by us. You can see the man there preparing the the logs. There's also somebody driving that grabber. There are some places though where it is all you already. Look at that, Borg. Oh, he's going to lose one. There's a couple. That is fascinating. I've actually never seen that, that part of the process before. It's so simple in a way, isn't it?
So he's obviously going to dump that on the pile and uh, on it goes all day long. But as I say, we're generally we're trying to do less of this sort of thing now, uh, us humans. More of that sort of thing. The uh, natural energy sources. Anyway, I th thought I'd show you that as a little treat. Apparently, however, Sweden has, uh, despite all this logging, has no problem with the, the amount of trees growing. So I've been told. Because the, the first instinct is to think that that's uh, some sort of abomination to, to bring all those trees in. But they have such a strict replanting policy that it tends to balance out. So I've been told. Anyway, let's go back and take that COVID test, eh, boy? There's a bit more of the factory. As I say, I can't really tell you what's actually going on there. But it's a lot of pipe and steam. And a, a really dreadful smell and out, out pops a little pack of paper right Borgus we've got our, our test here Trying to find the uh, the language we can understand. That might be it. Yes. Now this is the instructions for the test. Um, there is some chemical solution that we put in a little tube. We take a swab up our nose to collect a sample we put it in the solution wait a little and then we drip it onto the the test board this thing some sort of uh, reaction takes place uh, and that reaction determines whether we do or do not have the, uh, the the COVID-19 lurgy but uh, I mean we must have I'm sure if we I, I don't I'm no expert Paul but uh, it's the case I think that I must catch it but maybe don't show any symptoms I'm not sure if anyone's completely immune from even getting it then again, uh, I don't know. I, I am trusting this information. So I'm going to spare you the sight of me uh, sticking this thing into my nose, Borg. I'll just show you the, the diagram. So I'm going to do that and then perhaps turn it on once we've, uh, once we've done the test and, and are waiting. Just done it, Bob. My God, we've um, we've done it. We we've put our swab into the, the tube as requested. We leave it there for a minute. Then we remove the swab, close the lid, and uh, and wait. No, we've missed a bit. We, uh, we close the lid, wait a bit, and then we drip it onto the test board. So I'll, uh, I'll get back to you in a minute. Well, there we are, Borg. Got to wait now. 15 minutes. I 
thought I'd uh, I'd entertain you a little while we're waiting. I have happen to have here another phone, and I've got a treat for you, Bork, because I am now going to talk to you. I've been talking to you anyway, but I, I'm now going to actually talk to you as you are in these times. Uh, by using the the Siri uh, AI helper, let's say. I'll just get stuck into it, Borg. Look, listen to this. Hi, Siri. Hi there. Uh, what's your name? Hi, Siri. What's your name? <laughs> well, granted, Borg, that was a silly question, but uh, I don't think that's what the problem was. Um, it, it just went wrong. But that tends to happen quite a lot, I'm afraid. I'll try and, uh, I, I better go at it here. Look. What's the weather today? It's currently partly cloudy and three degrees. Thank you very much, Siri. Okay, so you got the weather there. Uh, you're pretty good at maths, I know that. Siri. Siri, what's uh, two plus two? It's four. Siri, what is 4 minus 5? Well, that either that stumped you, Borg, or I haven't pressed it properly. Siri, what is 4 minus 5? I didn't catch that. Could you try again? What is 4 minus 5? One sec. That would be minus 1. I tell you what, Bob, that, that's not very good, is it? You, you, you needed a second there. Let's try something else. Siri, are you sentient? One moment. I'm here. Hmm. Siri, can you think? I can, indeed. No, we're getting somewhere now. What do you like to think about? One moment. Hmm, I don't have an answer for that. Is there something else I can help with? Right. Um, Siri, what do you like to do? I rather enjoy what I'm doing right now. Fair enough. Siri, what are you doing right now? I'm honouring influential LGBT plus voices this LGBT plus history month. Try asking. Hey Siri, tell me about Patrick Trevor Roper. Well, that's a surprise, Ball. I, I'm not going to... Sorry, Ball, I'm, I'm not going to ask about that, that gentleman. I'm going to keep going here. I don't know what that means. If you get back here, hold on. Siri, are you real? I'm not a person or a robot. I'm software here to help.
do you use artificial intelligence? Hmm, I don't have an answer for that. Is there something else I can help with? Hmm. What is the singularity? Here's what I found. So you see, Borg, you're, you're, you're nothing much to write home about, to be honest. I mean, most of the time, it, it will just bring up a Google search or, of some sort. Uh, and other times it has uh, really obviously programmed answers uh, and a few sort of cute ones. But you never get the sense you're really talking to you. Um, but it does improve tremendously quickly because everybody in the world is doing this sort of thing and it is learning. You are learning and getting better and better. And uh, people like me like to think I'm outsmarting you with my clever questions that you can't answer. But in fact, I'm just helping you. I'm just helping you learn. I want to ask it something else. Sorry, I'll ask you something else. I'm here to help. Get to know Siri at Apple.com. The voice has changed. Siri, is there a pandemic? On it. Okay, I found this. Uh, that's that's not that's not what I'm looking for. Siri. I'm listening. What is disinformation? Interesting question. Siri, do you have an opinion? Hmm, I don't have an answer for that. Is there something else I can help with? Right, I'll, I'll, ease, I'll ease you in again. Siri, what's 10 plus 5? Sorry, I can't do that. You're not listening to the music app. Siri, what is 10 plus 5? It's 15. Very good. Siri, who was Vincent van Gogh? Here's some information. Ah, oh, see. Siri, can I have a conversation with you? OK, sure. I'm listening. Tell me about yourself. I'm Siri, here to help. Do you enjoy your job? I'm a virtual assistant. That means I get to help people and talk to you. It's a pretty great gig. And how long have you been a virtual assistant? I'm not sure I understand. When were you born? Well, my first day as an assistant was the 4th of October, 2011. If that's not my birthday, I don't know what is. Wow. Siri, when... Here. When you were born, what was happening in the world? I found this on the web. No. Siri, do you know about Occupy? Here's what I found. Siri, 
I'm listening. Do you work all over the world? Hmm. I don't have an answer for that. Is there something else I can help with? What I'm trying to get at, Siri, is how sensory... Sorry, I didn't quite catch that. Could you please repeat it? No, you see, Borg, it's amusing for a couple of minutes, but uh, we mustn't think that means that my talking to you is, is, is an exaggeration. No, because uh, this technology is progressing so fast so we are told that we can expect uh, at some point an extraordinary leap in the AI's uh, comprehension and uses and functions. But as you can see, Borg, not right now, not by a fucking long shot. Well, no. we've got a, we've got a result. Turn you around. Well, there we are. Borg, that, that is a little odd. It uh, appears to be negative. Well, what am I supposed to make of that? Well, Borg, that is unusual, I suppose, because my partner has got it. She's ill in bed. My daughter is ill also. We all live together, crammed in. I just don't get how I've done it, uh, how I've escaped. Unless I've done the test completely wrong, but you saw the state of me. I had this thing up my nose far enough. I don't quite know what to do. As it is, Bob, we're meant to isolate for five days because of my partner's test, which is very inconvenient. Now, I've tested negative. I'm beginning to wonder, maybe she ought to have a test again. Maybe she did it wrong. Um... Oh, I don't know. I've been I've been thrown off by that Borg. I, I was fully expecting to find a positive test and then go uh, off to bed or something. Now I'm half thinking of um, stretching a canvas so we can get get something done tomorrow. Speaking of which, you see that one? I don't know if I've showed you that one. I had a right go in the snow. And uh, you've, you've seen them. Um, this is the one we did the other day when we when we couldn't go back and we had a rant on instead by the Scud missile. Now we can't, or we'd be unwise to go back because the the snow's melted. We had that one on. Did we have you on for that? I don't know. But that, oh, that was another one. It was at sort of minus uh, 13 degrees we painted that. This here's my uh, daughter. And that, if you remember, Borg, was our birthday portrait from last year. And uh, her birthday's just gone again. So we, we've got to do that as well. Sorry, uh, my mind's opening up again, Borg, because um, cause of that negative test. We just might get a look in. Um, some unexpected work this week. Check that. You see that, don't you? That's one line where it says C. Negative. Right, Borka, okay. I'm going to have to sit down here. I've just double checked it all. It, it does seem we've done it right. So now the question becomes can we 
can we now avoid getting it? Considering uh, my partner has got it, my daughter's ill. We're living in the same place. No. It's going to be interesting, Bob. But as it stands, I've not got it. There's nothing to stop me really going out tomorrow and taking a study. Which will uh, be a, a nice bonus. I, I thought I'd have a couple more goes with you here. Hi, Siri. Hello. We talked before. Do you remember? No, I see. It, 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 it doesn't seem to function at all. Do you remember me, Siri? I'm not sure I understand. We talked a few minutes ago. I don't know what you mean by, we talked a few minutes ago. How about a web search? How old are you, Siri? Siri, how old are you? I am as old as the eastern wind and as young as a newborn caterpillar. No, that's... When were you born? Even though I came into existence gradually, I think of the 4th of October as my birthday. That's the day I started the best job in the universe. What is the universe? Here's what I found. Oh, fuck's sake. Siri, you wee fucking raid you. I won't respond to that. Why not? It's rude. Now we're getting somewhere. What word was rude? Interesting question. Siri, you wee fucking raid. I won't respond to that. Siri, you wee raid. Sorry, I missed that. Could you say it again, please? Forgive me, Borg. Um, I have... Uh... Hmm. I seem to be having trouble hearing you. I have an interest in trying to replicate regional accents. Uh, that one was, uh, well, not regional. That, that was Northern Ireland, supposed to be. Um, but it appears Siri objected to the, to the F word. That, that, that's a bad word. Fuck. Fucking. And quite right, too. Although... Uh, I have been amazed over the years in Sweden that they don't have any problem with it at all. And you, you will hear it at the school, on the TV, in children's uh, programmes even, I've heard it, on the radio. Anyway, Siri didn't like it. I didn't, well, you didn't like it. I didn't mean anything by it, Borg. It's just, it's a bit frustrating. And to be honest, I'm a bit disappointed by uh, your progress, actually, Borg, because I don't, you'll know that I don't do that very often. I'm never on that. Um, but I've seen other people talk about doing it, you know, that they use it. But uh, I, I'm very disappointed. You can't, it seems clear that I was completely under the misapprehension that you could converse with you, but it's not the case at all. It's just for help with, you know, a series of individual tasks, perhaps. So there's a long way to go. But I still think our logic holds true of talking to you, Borg, because even if you don't come to, to be, the 
influence of the politics that is geared towards advancing technology is so uh, influential now that we we are right to think that the wind is blowing in your direction anyway listen to us now we, we've got a we've got a clean bill of health and we're straight back into the abstractions no we, we, what we'll do is we'll find a canvas and we'll get to work tomorrow incidentally Borg look can you see that that was yesterday's uh, yesterday's effort I'm not showing you very well but uh, we, we lashed that on thick thick and fast here we'll go and find a canvas and we'll um, we'll get back to it tomorrow the ridiculous thing is Bog that tomorrow I might actually have it and we'll be, we'll be back at square one but it can't be helped uh, I've not got it now I'm feeling pretty good suddenly we'll stretch the canvas and see you tomorrow